our last stop on our tour. It was very, very brief. It would be, it, it would not be fitting if we didn't pop down here to uh, pay our respects. years since our debut and we finally had to come out. And uh, although we're not a band who believe in nostalgia at all, we feel it's important to mark moments in your life that are really special. And for us in Garbage, this is an incredible moment for us. And uh, it also has struck me on this tour that it's kind of uh, much more, funnily enough, about you lot than it is for us in some ways. Because we know that from so many of you here tonight, this record played a role in your lives. And in some ways you were much more cognizant of what was going on than we were, because we had no idea what was going on at all. Whereas you were just receiving it in a, in a, in a pure fashion as those who hear music do. So thank you for connecting with our music at the Fans in the World. And, uh, you know, so much changes in 20 years, right? We grow up, we meet boys, we meet girls, we marry girls, we marry boys now, which was not going on in 1990. We have lost many people along the way. I'm sure you have too. Um, so, what an adventure it's been. Thank you for still being here. Thank you for getting your arses off the couch and coming here today. So, without further ado, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Taurus for opening up for us this evening. And for opening up for us actually on this entire tour and always being a pleasure and always being professional and always sounding amazing. And also to Mackenzie for being called Mackenzie Scott, even though it has nothing whatsoever to do with her and probably as much more to do with her parents, but there you have it. Um, so we decided before we went out on this tour that we were only going to play songs from 1995 to 1996. And that we play the whole record and then we play all the accompanying B-sides that came out along with that record. So for those of you who have never heard these songs, uh, I, I would appreciate your patience. And the first of these B-sides is a song called Girl Don't Come, We Wrote It. We wrote it very quickly in Madison, Wisconsin after a night out in the bar, a record label in the UK had called us and said we need a B-side and we need it in two days, which meant it had to get out in an hour's time because back then you couldn't, you couldn't send digital files, you had to literally physically send the tape. So we yes. left the pub, we were pretty drunk, <laughs> we got back to Smart and this is what came out and this is called Girl Don't Come. Oh, 